The final what if analysis utility that we're going to look at in this course is the scenario manager. And the scenario manager allows us to see values based on different scenarios. And we can easily toggle between the different scenarios and even produce a scenario report. So let's dive in and take a look at what it's all about. Now in the spreadsheet here, I have a personal budget. So we can see at the top here, my monthly income, and then I have underneath all of my expenses. So things like rent, travel, utilities, water, so on and so forth. And then underneath I have a calculation and this is the total amount of expenses. And you can see in the formula bar that this is just simply a sum of cells B5 to B11. And then we have the amount that I have left. So this is my free cash each month. And this is just my monthly income minus my expenses. So some really straightforward calculations just there. Now, this scenario, let's say, is all based on the job that I currently have. Now, maybe I have a chance at a promotion and with that promotion comes an increased salary. But also I've been offered a new job at a different organization where the monthly income is different again. But that job is a little bit further away. So some of my expenses are going to increase. So what I want to do here is I want to set up three different scenarios and work out if it's going to be best for me to stay in my current job, take the promotion or take the new job. And that is where Scenario Manager comes in. Now, in order to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to name all of my ranges and it will become clear in a moment why I'm doing this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these cells and I'm holding down control as I select these, but I'm not going to create ranges for the calculation cells. So all of the income cells, I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to go up to the formulas tab and I'm going to say create from selection. Now I want the cells in column B to be named according to the label on the left, the value or the text that we have in the left column. So I'm going to keep left column selected and click on OK. So now that I've done that, when I click the drop down in the name manager, you can see that I now have all of those labels. And if I was to select gym, for example, it's going to highlight the cell that contains the value for the gym. So let's jump up to data. We're going to go to what if analysis tools and scenario manager, and we're going to add in our first scenario. Now, our first scenario is going to be what my budget looks like if I stay in my current position. So if nothing changes, so I'm just going to call this original. My changing cells, these are the cells that could change. So I'm going to select this cell, hold down control and select these cells just here. Remember the bottom two cells, total expenses and amount left, these are calculations based on what we have above. These will be changed automatically when these change. So we don't need to select the bottom two. Let's click on OK. Now notice what it pops up with. I then get a little field for each of the cells that I selected. And I could come in here and change the values. Now notice that these are named monthly income, rent, travel, utilities. And that is because I created the named ranges. If I hadn't have done that, what you would see in here is just the cell reference, which a lot of the time isn't very meaningful and it makes it difficult for you to know what you're actually changing. So that's why I create those named ranges. Now with this original scenario, nothing is changing because I'm just staying at my current job. So let's just click on OK. There is our original scenario. Let's add another scenario and I'm going to call this one promotion. My changing cells are still the same, but if I get a promotion, I'm going to be earning more money. So I'm going to change this to 3,500. Now I'm staying at the same job, so I'm not having to move location. My rent is exactly the same. My travel is the same, but because I'm getting paid a little bit more, I'm going to allocate 320 for shopping and 400 for entertainment. Let's click on OK. Let's add a third scenario and we're going to call this new job. Click on OK. Now this new job, I'm going to be getting paid quite a bit more. I'm going to get paid $4,000 a month. Now my rent isn't going to increase, but the new job is a bit further away. So my travel expenses are going to be increased. And also because I am earning quite a bit more, I'm going to allocate $450 for entertainment. 
The gym that's near my new workplace is also more expensive, so that's going to be $200 a month, and I'm going to be spending a bit more shopping, so let's go for $350. Click on OK. So now I have my three different scenarios set up. So what I can do is I can select a scenario, click on show, and it's going to change the values in my spreadsheet. So now you can see if I was to take the promotion, I'm going to be earning 3,500 and this is the amount that I'm going to have left over at the end of the month. Now, if we compare that to my situation currently by selecting original and clicking show, you can see that I'm going to have almost double the amount of free cash if I was to accept that promotion. But what about the new job? Let's take a look at that. Click on show. Oh, I'm getting a lot more spare cash at the end of the month. So by looking at this and being able to directly compare these scenarios, if my goal is to have more spare cash, it's going to be beneficial for me to take the new job over these other options. And if I want to see these directly compared side by side, I can choose summary, which is going to create a little summary report. It's going to put it on a new worksheet and you can see here the current values listed in my spreadsheet. So I currently have the new job scenario selected. So that's what I'm seeing in the current values column. But then I can see original promotion and new job side by side. So it makes it really easy for me to see how much cash I'm going to have left over. So that is how the scenario manager works and how it can be useful for directly comparing outcomes based on fluctuating inputs. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.